Hi guys, I'm back. And today we're going to do a, just a flip cup with these new paints that I don't typically use called Master's Touch. Uh, this is titanium white, obviously. Um, so we're going to be using, I think we're going to be using, I haven't really quite decided whether I want to put white in there or not. Because the colors are so bright and vibrant, I don't want them dulled down in any way by some white, but we may put some white in there. And then of course we got the same five colors that we used the last time, so I'm not going to go through those colors. If you want to know what the names of these colors are, um, then uh, take a look at the last video where we did the marble pour. Um, still not real excited about that one. <laughs> it was just kind of, um, it's pretty, you know, bright colors, definitely bright colors. And kind of, I mean, it's fun to do, but okay. So anyway, I digress. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a really ugly canvas here. Um, I scraped off all the paint and I was just kind of running my fingers around on it just to sort of flatten out the paint, but it's completely dry. So we're just going to pour over it. Um, sometimes you can pour over canvases and sometimes it's not a good idea to pour over them. If your paint is super thin left on your canvas, generally speaking, it's okay to pour over it. Um, but if your paint is real thick, I wouldn't suggest pouring over it because uh, there's no airflow really through there through the bottom and that's partly what helps dry your paints correctly is there's airflow all around your paint on the top and on the bottom um, because as you guys know I put push pins on the bottom of mine to keep it about half an inch up off the table so we've got airflow top and bottom plus your painting doesn't sit in a puddle of paint um, and it really does help to dry it out more evenly and keep it from cracking so I think we will do some white but I don't think we're going to start with the white. I think we're going to start with, well, no, I think we'll start with the white. And we're just going to pour a little bit in there. And we're just going to uh, layer them on. I try not to pour where my paint is uh, really going down heavily into the cup I like to make layers I don't like all my paints mixing together in the cup until I flip it over I think sometimes it just it just makes for too much mixing I'll put a little more of this sort of magenta color on top and a little white before we go With our phthalo again and each one of the colors plus the white have silicone in them let's go with this color and then a little bit of green and let's go with some of this bright yellow it's called I want to say that one's called yellow deep and this white, because it's titanium white, is probably not going to show up a whole lot. Titanium white is a much heavier pigmented paint, so it sinks through your colors a lot. No, I don't think we're going to mix that. I don't think that magenta and that green go real well together. I don't think they play very friendly together. All right, that should be plenty of paint. Put a little bit more white on there just to sort of add to the cup. And I'm gonna move my cups out of the way because if you guys have watched me for a really long time, you know I tend to dump over cups of paint. Now I haven't done it in a while, but I say that I'll probably dump a cup over today. And try to match your cup to the you know the size of your cup to the amount of paint you're going to put on your canvas because if you have a cup say like I, I poured that amount of paint into this cup when I flip it over your paints are going to go slosh and they're going to really mix together so try and match the size of your cup to the canvas to the amount of paint you really need for it I think that helps too I don't think I've ever said that before but I definitely have noticed it makes a difference
Looks like an alien head. We've got some pretty cells coming up. Already. Okay, so get your palette knife. Scrape out your paint onto the corners and don't worry about how ugly that paint is. It does not matter. It's just to cover the corners so it make them wet so that the paint will flow over them. Right now the kids are on spring break so I'm trying to seriously get some paintings in before it's time to go back to homeschooling because that makes me have very little time for painting, unfortunately, but it's worth it. Any Anybody who homeschools knows it's totally worth not having a lot of time to do anything else. So I'm just kind of catching the edge because it's going to pour up anyway, so it's not going to, not really going to matter what I'm swiping off of here, but it will make my canvas nice and wet which will make the paint flow way easier off the edges. Okay, so we've got everything nice and wet. It does, it looks like, like a jellyfish head or something. All right, so I have forgotten to put my gloves on until I noticed I got paint on my fingers. So let me put some gloves on really quick. Let's torch this while we're waiting. Got some pretty stuff coming up. Not real, they're not real big yet. Um, could be the brand of paint I'm using. Like I said, this is a, a paint that I don't typically use, so I thought, let's give it a try and see if this is, you know, kind of the paint I'd like to stick with. Now, I've got tons of, I don't know if you guys can see those little caterpillar cells, but there's a bunch of, that one really looks like a caterpillar right there. Well, some, I gotta pause you guys so you can see these little caterpillar cells. <laughs> Look at those guys. They're so cute. There's a bunch of them. I have caterpillars. Look at that. I have never seen caterpillar cells. Look at, look at that one. It's got like a double row of cells in the middle of it. Wow. I hate to even pour those off. How cool. <laughs> those are pretty neat. Ooh, and look at that cell right there. That's cool. I'm sorry for the wiggling. It's hard for me to hold still. Okay, so let's see what we can do with these cells. See if we can stretch them out. Oh, look, there's some more caterpillars. Okay, so the cells have stretched out a little bit. Not a whole 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 lot but let's see what we can do with them look at our corner catcher say goodbye to mr. caterpillar cells because those are not staying there's no way they're all the way on this edge but they were cute weren't they and even on the sides here in this sort of muddy paint you can see cells coming up so let's see where we're gonna I think we're gonna get rid of this corner first because I like this purple I want to keep most most of it. So I'm going to move slowly so that my paint will slide across the top there instead of rolling over itself so I can save as many of these cells as possible. And as you can see, I've left the corner open. I always tell you guys about that. Um, because I want to make sure anybody who's new to the channel can see if you leave that corner open, you save everything on the sides, but your corner gets covered. There we go. And you just kind of let that thing fall off down. So your cells will cover the, uh, cover the edge there. 
And if you see that something is not covered, go ahead and just tap a finger on it. Ooh, that was the wrong color. That's okay, we'll fix it later. You can always fix your corners later. So I like to go back and forth. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time I'll go back and forth. But I gotta get rid of that, definitely. And those are gonna have to go. Get my corner catcher here ready. And once the cardboard gets wet, it is a little harder to hold it up there. There we go. Stuff my finger in it. Okay, back to the center. Ooh, they're pretty though. Pretty cells. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to keep green or do I want to keep this one? I really don't care for either side. <laughs> So let's go off of this side here. I mean, really, I could dump the whole side off and just have all the colors in the middle there. I really like that cell right there. It'd be nice if we could somehow manage to keep that one. Well, we kept it, but it's, uh, we didn't catch it quite in time, so now it's going to stretch way out. It's interesting how that yellow, that deep yellow, has really just about completely disappeared. Okay. We want to pour a lot of paint off, so we're just going to kind of let it go. Let it go. There we go. Okay, that's pretty. I think we're gonna leave it. I was trying to decide if I wanted to pour off some of this because that corner kind of bothers me. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Nope, I think we'll leave it. Just, I don't know, it's off. It's something's bothering me about it. But I think we'll leave it. Move that back a little bit. Hopefully, it won't fall into our other painting. Okay, that's pretty. Let's torch it one more time. Get rid of some of the uh, air bubbles that are on top. See if we can bring up anything more. But you see, we've got a lot more little cells coming up over there. And some little ones here. And those will grow a little bit. I like that one, oh, even though we've lost all that pretty yellow. It's actually quite pretty. Okay, close up here. Very sort of cosmic looking. This paint seems to have softer edges than I'm used to. Oh, there's some little amoebas right there. Cool. Amoebas are single celled organisms for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. And see, we have a cell. A cell and a cell. Three little amoebas. They're so cute. And these are like big amoebas. But look at the little cells that we've got. Let's see if we can get any closer. Oh yeah, look at look at that one right there in the center. Look at how many lines it has in it. Look at the colors, how they've blended, but not blended to mud. Very pretty. I like this one. That was that cool cell that we had in the center 
in that line, but it kind of went wonky. But it's still pretty. It almost looks like it's glowing in the center. Neat. I have no idea what that is right there. We're going to have to see if that is something in the painting. Okay. I'll take a look while it's on pause, if I can remember where it's at. Alright guys, there's your pretty for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really, I love this one. It's so pretty. It's um, all of my favorite colors, turquoises and greens, and, and the purple thrown in is really pretty. Although it wasn't purple, it turned purple. Probably mixed with that, the uh, lake blue color. And made a really pretty purple color. So, um, yeah, I like these paints. Uh, what was it? Master's Touch. So, if you have, um, I get these at, uh, you know, the, the big box store that is a craft store that is orange, the orange uh, logo, orange and white. So I'm trying not to drop too many names because, well, they're not sponsoring me. So <laughs> anyway, try these paints out. Uh, they work really, really quite well. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy with them. So uh, they are a little more costly than say like the artist loft paints, which I do also use. So I probably won't be using these too often, but they are very pretty, very vibrant, very, very bright colored. So thank you for all you guys do for me. Uh, thank you for the emails and the, the comments and the questions and, and just the, the lovely, how do you do today's, um, and, uh, stay safe out there stay happy and healthy and and um, take care of each other wear your masks out in public please even if you're vaccinated please still wear your masks because there's you know the threat is out there still and those of us that are getting vaccinated we are still we can still carry it around with us we can still bring it home to family members we can still share it in public um, we can still contract it so please be careful wear your mask out there i know it's you know for our area of the our neck of the woods here on the globe we're um we're starting to get hot and so mask wearing is going to be a little harder but you guys got to do it all right i love you all see you later bye